Hi friends, welcome back to another week in my life. I thought I would be a little different and start this on a Wednesday because it is kind of a special week this week. Um, I am on my way to work. It is Wednesday, March 27th today. So I'm heading in. You can see from my back window how freaking gloomy it is today. Like it looks like I'm driving in a cloud. <laughs> it's raining today and I am none too pleased about it. I miss the sun. It's 70 degrees, which is wonderful, but it is wet. So um, yeah, but I thought I would start this vlog here because it's an exciting week in the week in the realm of audition vlogs. Um, I'm supposed to get an email from Tallahassee Ballet and also Ballet Arkansas, like within the next few days. I don't know when exactly, but both of them had said that it would be around this time that they would email us, um, about job offers. And both of them are supposed to email, like, regardless if you're getting a job offer or not. So... Every time my email pings on my phone now, I'm like grabbing my phone. I'm like, ah, is it a ballet company? So I'm freaking out every two seconds, but it's fine. Um, it's very exciting. So, um, and it's nice to have like, like two. I've got two on my radar that are supposed to be emailing. So um, Tallahassee Ballet just had their last in-person audition like four days ago on the 23rd. So they should be making their final decisions now on who they want to join next year. I'm betting that it's going to be after Easter this weekend when emails go out because Easter is this Sunday. So I just have a feeling like with both of them, it's probably going to be after Easter. But nonetheless, I wanted to get this vlog started and be just ready for it whenever it happens. But um, Ballet Arkansas also said that they were going to email around this time because they want like a company roster in April sometime or something. I can't remember exactly what he said about it, but that is what we're waiting on this week. I just pulled in to work, so I'm gonna go load the car with all my stuff, clock in, and I guess enjoy a rainy day in the beach houses with a good podcast, because I like to put on a good podcast while I'm cleaning, so yeah. So I've just arrived to one of my favorite little historic split level houses. I haven't been here in a long time and they've got new floors, first of all. But $40 tip, great way to start our Wednesday, but they have a brand new kitchen since I was last here and I love the look of this. How pretty are those countertops? They got a new refrigerator as well, new appliances, new cabinets these handles are rose gold which i'm pretty obsessed with wow also how cute are these little pot holders they're fish and they match the countertop oh my goodness this is beautiful i have not been here since they remodeled the kitchen but with the new floors it looks fabulous Gosh, everything is trying to attack me today. Oh my god. i have It's one of those days where I'm just like a klutz. I hit my head on one of those cabinets while I was cleaning. It really hurt. Um, and there's just like stuff falling everywhere. I don't know. I kind of just wanted some breakfasty item. I only have one more house to clean, but I got some orange juice. Oh, and I also got some emergency Pop-Tarts. S'mores flavor. I wanted some donuts, but the gas station that is on the south end, the Sitco or whatever, the man who runs this store is very sweet, but 
they don't have like some of the hostess donuts and stuff that like the BP station has. So that's what I was really craving was like hostess donuts. Cause if you've ever watched one of my vlogs, I'm always eating a donut in some way, shape or form, but they did not have any. So I had to settle for pop tarts today, but that's all right. I'm going to pop them in the toaster when we get to our next house and we're gonna take a minute and just have some Pop-Tarts. As you can hear in my voice probably, I am dying from this pollen that is blooming in Savannah right now. I swear there is something new blooming this year or something different, some variation. See, this is what I'm talking about. Everything is trying to attack me today. My mop is coming for me. Um, Anyway, there's something blooming that was not previously blooming or some hybrid something because I don't normally have allergy issues when like the azaleas bloom and everything else in the springtime. But this year I thought I had gotten by mostly because the pollen has been here for like a couple weeks now and everyone else has been dying. And I was like, all right, taking my allergy meds, don't feel too bad two days ago it hit me like a ton of bricks I don't know what happened hold on we're gonna get bumpy Ugh. okay here we go I love this house because I can just like drive into the yard and park in the yard anyway I'm gonna go make some pop tarts I'm gonna drink some orange juice put this on my head or something because man that hurt when I hit my head on those cabinets well wow. I'm a mess today. Thank goodness it's Wednesday, so once we get done with this house, we can go home and chill, and I can maybe empty my sinuses of all of this pollen, so I will not be going outdoors. Hopefully, actually, since it's raining today, that will help things, and hopefully it'll rain a little bit harder later this afternoon and get all this pollen down and gone and away because... <laughs> I think that's part of our problem. It hasn't really rained much, so the pollen is just still chilling everywhere. But let's go clean our other house. just went to Kroger after work and I was walking to the checkout and I passed this little girl and her brother and she looks at me and goes hey Miss Kristen and I was like hey and I kid you not I have no idea who this child is like I've taught in so many different places in the savannah area at this point i'm just like who is this kid and how does she know me where where is she from like i feel so bad because i can't like think of where i've seen her before right now but like i, I don't know who she is <laughs> also i realized i never showed you guys what they ended up doing to my gym setup they turned my little bar situation <laughs> so that it faces the wall now. I can't use that spot anymore because they put carpet down. So like there's no way for me to use that anymore. So I've had to come over here and like this is my new spot. I'll stand here with this thing. I can kind of see this way and then I can kind of turn sideways and see myself in the mirror that way. So like is it as good as the original? Probably not, but it still works. All right, it is Monday. There's our view today. I'm gonna chat with you guys for just a moment while I wait for this dryer because I need to wait for it to finish before I can leave and go to my next place. But also, I feel really cute today. I put on my little party animals hat representing representing the, the boys 
Um, I don't know, and I did my little sporty chic braid. I don't know, I feel oddly cute today. Um, like I mean business. Um, anyway, so it's been quite some time since that last clip, and I thought while we wait for this very loud dryer that I would tell you what happened because on Saturday I had the day off and I had big plans to go to the studio and once and for all finish the videos that I had to get done for Oklahoma City Ballet and um, whatever else I was gonna record. I was just like, okay, stop procrastinating. It's due April 1st, just get it done. I woke up Saturday morning with the biggest headache ever because the weather changed again. So I took medicine, went back to sleep. I thought it was like 11 o'clock. No, I woke up at 1.30 p.m. and it was like my burnout that I've been experiencing lately just manifested physically in my body that day. Like I felt like, man, I just, I cannot do this today. And it was like God was telling me, listen, you're, you've been tired and burnt out for some time, like just rest, just chill, just trust what I've got going on. I've got everything planned out, just trust my plans. So I wrestled with myself the night before for literally hours about whether or not I was going to go to the studio and record. And then it was like my body and God just said, nope, rest stop so I did I was like okay and I stayed in my bed all day on Saturday I fell asleep again at like 5 p.m. took another nap till like 10 p.m. got up hung out with my brother for a little bit and then went back to sleep so literally I was so tired I don't know what happened but everything from the last few weeks months since January just caught up to me and I was just down for the count, but I felt like a new person after that. So that being said, I had to let go of my plans to submit to Oklahoma City Ballet. Was I gonna get invited to that audition? Probably not. I tried not to tell myself that just to keep things positive, but Reality is I've reached, I've, I'm reaching my limit for being able to do this and do all this audition stuff and teach and work on recital and all the normal things I have to do in my life. And, you know, uh, so that being said, today is April 1st. We finally made it to April. Oh my goodness. March was the longest month ever. So... Um, yeah, that was my weekend. Easter was yesterday. I had to work yesterday. Working again today. It's been a very busy, busy time in the beach houses. Spring break is starting, so I've got another four properties to turn over today, like I had yesterday. So it's a little bit of a crazy day running to and fro. Um, but the update is now that Easter has passed, we are waiting anxiously awaiting these emails from Tallahassee Ballet and Ballet Arkansas. I'm supposed to hear from both of them, hopefully this week, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully in the next couple of days. Um, and I'm on the edge of my seat, let me tell you. Um, I don't, my guess is Tallah Tallahassee will maybe offer me something. I have no idea what's gonna happen with Ballet Arkansas, not a clue. I felt good about it, about what happened when I was there, but I have no idea if they were vibing with me. So we'll just have to find out. I'm kind of nervous for that one. Um, who am I kidding? I'm nervous for both of them, but I have one more trip to Memphis coming up this weekend. And I am supposed to leave, I'm gonna leave on Thursday night after work because I don't teach this week. Um, the kids are on spring break, so I can leave after work during the day at the beach houses um, and drive to Macon and stay the night to get halfway to the Frick Frack in Atlanta airport because I have to go there again because I'm not stressing myself out like I did last time. 
So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a little Airbnb in Macon and stay the night if we end up doing that. Because if I don't get a job offer or if I don't end up hearing from either one of them this week, then I'm the, the plan currently is to still go to Memphis um, and audition. So, because that's another very promising audition that I kind of wanted to go to. And I, my dad kept asking me like, are you still gonna do that one? And I was like, well, for now, yes. Because I mean, I don't have a job offer right now as of this moment in time. Um, so the plan is to still go to Memphis as of right now. Unless we get some kind of crazy, amazing job offer this week, then I will probably cancel my trip last minute. I think I can cancel my flights and stuff like 24 hours before. So um, I'm not too overly concerned about that. I didn't even spend that much money on this particular flight and stuff. So I'm not too concerned. It was, it, honestly, I think it's the cheapest trip I've booked this entire season. Um, so that's the update. I crashed this weekend. My burnout got the best of me. Easter has passed and we are waiting for job offers. The other thing is I really need to know this information this week, preferably, because my apartment complex wants us to tell them two months in advance if we're moving out and our lease is up in June. So we have to notify our apartment by April 17th if we are staying. So I kind of need to know if I'm leaving so I can tell my brother what is up and what we need to be doing for our apartment situation. So <laughs> there's a lot of things coming to a head in the next couple of weeks. So um, I'm gonna get back to work and get through this crazy day um, and I will hopefully speak to you with some kind of great update about auditions or job offers. So, oh, I'm so nervous. Fresh out of the shower and I thought I would show you guys how I cut my hair when it gets very, very long because as you can see, in the back, if I have it to the back, that's like below my shoulder blade at this point. Um, and I have thick hair. So any other thick haired girlies, let me know. It, I may not look like it right now because it's wet, but trust me. Girl has a, a girl has a lot of hair. Um, and I'm very grateful for that and I love my hair. However, I need to keep it cut to a certain point because when it gets this long, it's so heavy that it weighs itself down and I start losing hair in chunks. Like I'm talking my shower drain gets clogged every like two days when my hair falls out like this. It's everywhere. It's all over my room, in my laundry. Like I'm just like, there's hair everywhere. It drives me crazy. So I thought I would show you guys how I cut it. I feel like I have not, I cut my own hair for probably about the last two years at least. It's not that hard when it is this long and you can see what you're doing, but I'm gonna take off at least this much, I think, because it actually grew pretty fast. I trimmed it, I feel like, not too long ago. So I've got my little bathroom trash can just like right here in the, whoa, shoved in the sink. <laughs> and I've got my Hair scissors, very important. Do not cut your hair with regular scissors. Don't do it. Get yourself some hair scissors. I need to trim my bangs too, I think, because there's this like, this thing doing its own thing on the side. I need to trim my bangs after this, but let's do the the regular hair first. Um, I'm always tempted to just like chop chop it to my shoulders. And I've done that twice in the last few years. And every time I cut my hair that short, I miss it instantly. So I have to resist, but I just kind of get it. I kind of divide this in half ish and I'll take a section and just kind of make sure that it's very straight. Like I said, it is not hard when your hair is this long, but I'll kind of just get it like that. And I will snip, snip, snip at the bottom, just kind of willy-nilly. 
And I know if you watch Brad Mondo's channel, he probably was, is like, would freak out at, at me doing this. But yep, I just kind of do a rough chop um, for the length. And then after I'm done with that and matching everything up, then I kind of go back and make edits if I need to. But that snip is always so satisfying. And I swear, it doesn't matter if I cut off two centimeters. My hair always just feels so much lighter when I chop it. So there you have it. That's one side done. And it's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of rough on the edges. You can tell kind of when it dries a little bit if you missed a spot or whatever, but like it already has so much more life. I may cut a little bit more than that actually, we'll see. Um, but then I just do the other side. That's really it. Yeah, pretty even on both sides there. Now I am going to do my bangs. So I'm gonna throw this up. Oh, my ponytail feels so much lighter. It's that extra two inches that gives me a headache sometimes when I put my hair up. So I'm gonna roll this guy up now into a bun so that that's not in the way. Oh, this is how I know my hair is the perfect length is when I do a messy bun and it like just stays there, like it just stays how it is. So to trim my bangs, I gotta wet them again because they have dried in the matter of two seconds that this took me to do, so one moment. So I kind of dip them <laughs> in the sink and they gotta do that. Now for my bangs, I usually try, I used to have a comb once upon a time. Once in a blue moon. I have no idea where it is because my bathroom and my room and my life is a hot mess right now, but it's okay, we'll just use the brush. Again, I can usually tell they need a trim when I put them straight down and they're like below my eyeballs. I usually try and keep them to just under my eyebrows. And again, that extra like inch, half inch makes all the difference in how they lay, especially this piece on the side, you can kind of see how long that's getting, but same idea. Bangs are a little bit easier to do, I find, but I kind of get them in a motion like this and I just pull down and I will just snip, snip. And then I go to the next piece Kind of line them up a little bit and again i'm just doing like a rough chop i don't really have a rhyme or reason to the way i do this i just try not to get them too far up to my eyebrows i kind of do it a little bit at a time oh, this piece is really irritating me <laughs> stabbed me in the eye like three times okay Hopefully that's going to lay better. I do actually leave the corners a little bit longer on purpose. So, cause I'm a millennial and I have the side swoosh bangs. Sorry about it. Is that still a cringe thing for millennials to be doing? I don't know, but kind of just brush them again and see. And I did like a pretty straight job with that. They're still kind of curling on the ends. That's the other way I tell, like if it's starting to curl, a little bit in that usually means they're a little bit long like this guy on the end he needs a little bit of a chop okay these side guys are just okay now i'm going to part them where they usually part this is how i let my bangs dry i just throw them to the side and then I let them air dry and they normally air dry where they're supposed to be. So I let them dry like this, but that is my hair done. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's dry. Here is the result. My hair is pretty much dry now. This is the length 
um, when I let it dry naturally. Now you can see the natural waves are a little bit crazy, but my bangs are a thousand percent laying down so much better. And in the layers that they're supposed to be laying in. So that is feeling much better. There's a porch swing, let's try it out. temperature outside. Oh, and there's a perfect breeze blowing too. Wow. I mean, you have to look at this view. Look, this is the view from the porch. Huge wraparound porch right on the marsh. That breeze. Oh, it's like 75 today. Oh, I'm feeling so happy that the sun is out. Also, happy azalea season from Savannah. All our beautiful pink azaleas. Yes, we have them on Tybee as well. <sighs> Last property of the day. And if you guessed that it is time for a brownie batter coffee, you would be correct. This hits differently in the afternoon, I swear. Um, so I've got to tell you guys how amazing my psychiatrist is. Oh, um, basically what just happened is last night, I, or yesterday, I get a text from CVS that says, yo, we can't refill your prescription because you need to call your doctor. Like, it's been a while, which is normal. You're supposed to check in, I guess, every six to nine months when your medication is working well, even just so you can be like, hey, I'm still alive. Like, can I have some more refills? Um, so CVS was like, yo, we're not refilling your prescription. The problem with that is, is that I leave in two days for Macon slash Atlanta slash Memphis, and I don't have time to fiddle fart around and wait for this. And I was like, great, now I'm stressed. Um, and this morning I look and I have two pills left on my main medication. And I was like, oh, why is this happening this week? Stressful. So. I email my psychiatrist twice and I was like, I am desperate to like, I know we need to talk. We can talk on the phone if you want, like we did last time, cause she's cool like that. And I was like, you can call me anytime I'm at work, but like you can call me literally any hour I will answer the phone cause I need this prescription desperately before I leave town. Not to mention the fact it gives me terrible vertigo if I'm late on a dose or I miss a dose. So I'm like frantic about this this morning. And I also just in case email the actual doctor's office to request a refill because they have an online form. The placement of this dishwasher is really inconvenient. I just want to say, um, but I emailed them and I was like, Hey, this is what's happening. I really need a refill, blah, blah, blah. And they email me back and say, you need to talk to your psychiatrist. And I was like, I know I emailed her twice. I'm trying my best. I'm so sorry. Um, so they weren't much help, but this is how great my psychiatrist is. Kalista, if you're watching this, I literally love you. Um, she does not call me. She does not email me back. She asks me no questions. She just simply sends my prescription to CVS. And I just got a text from CVS like five minutes ago that was like, hi, your prescription's ready, come and get it. Like she took care of that in two, two minutes, like just sent it right off, no questions asked. That is primary care right there. Like, thank you so much, Kalista. You have saved 
me so much stress. Oh my gosh, so happy with that. Happy Wednesday, hashtag wet Wednesday. Look at this absolute downpour. I mean, in the wind. Apparently we have a tornado warning today too, but it's just absolutely a torrential downpour on Tybee today. And I will say it's making for some very nice ASMR. I feel like we're in the tropical rainforest though. I just got to my last property of the day and I'm walking around picking up sheets and trash and whatever and I turn the corner and I see this and I had such a big heart attack. I jumped a foot, you guys, it is plastic. Some kid left their stupid grasshopper toy here and it scared the ever-loving daylights out of me. Oh my God, I thought it was a real grasshopper. My nerves are shot. <laughs> Goodbye to this little friend. Go away, ugh. Hi friends, you are falling out of the air vent. <laughs> um, it is Thursday, April 4th today. And I am heading home from work. It is 1.50 p.m. I was on turbo speed this morning to get done with work because um, I only had three turns. It's a beautiful, glorious 70 degree sunny day. There is not a cloud in the sky after it was pouring torrential downpours yesterday. It is like the most perfect day. And I'm honestly a little upset that I have to leave town today because I would be on the beach right now, like this very moment, laying in the sand, getting up my tan on, if I was not leaving town. <sighs> but um, the update is that we still have no emails, no job offers yet from Tallahassee or Arkansas, haven't heard from anyone. So we are leaving town today to head off to our next audition, which is Ballet Memphis this weekend. Um, and I feel much better. Like I'm feeling much less burnt out and I feel excited to travel again because I've been home for a couple weeks, got a couple good paychecks. I'm feeling good, feeling healthy, feeling ready to go to another audition. So um, Ballet Memphis did email me yesterday and I had a heart attack because I thought it was the email I was waiting for, but it was just from Ballet Memphis and it was from the rehearsal director. And she gave us, again, all these beautiful, nice details about what time the audition was at, um, the location and how you could park, what studio we would be auditioning in in the building and what studio we were welcome to be warming up in, et cetera, et cetera. So it was a lovely detailed email and it said, safe travels and see you in Memphis. And I was like, well, I guess this is my sign that I need to go on this trip because it literally said, see you in Memphis. Um, so I was like, all right, let me book my Airbnb in Macon right quick because that's the plan today. Um, since I had a short work day, and it's early and beautiful and sunny. I am heading home to take a quick shower and hopping right in the car to drive to Macon today. Um, my suitcase is already packed, but I'm gonna spend the night in Macon tonight in a little Airbnb that I got for super cheap. And then tomorrow I'm driving the rest of the way to the Atlanta airport early in the morning because so help me, Atlanta airport is not besting me this time. Like, no. We are not having a repeat experience of our panic attack and headache that we went through when we went to Arkansas. Unfortunately, there is literally not an affordable flight that I can get connecting from any airport to get me to the Atlanta airport, so I had to drive again. But I have a plan this time and we're gonna be successful and we're going to have a great time. I've also never been to Macon before, so heck, like, Hopefully it's still a beautiful day and early enough when I get there this afternoon. Hopefully I don't run into traffic and I can just like cruise right into Macon and we can explore a little bit of historic downtown and just walk around and enjoy the evening, get some dinner, um, and enjoy 
ourselves. I'm kind of treating this last, this is the last audition for at least the moment. And I'm kind of treating this as a mini vacation this weekend. I'm gonna do fun things and we're gonna enjoy ourselves. Um, because I feel like I need to celebrate. Even though I haven't gotten any emails yet, I feel like I need to celebrate all the hard work that I have put in this audition season. I'm really proud of myself. So anyway, I'm heading home now. I'm gonna shower, gonna hop in the car, and we're gonna head to Macon. So I'm gonna end this weekly vlog here. And the next vlog will obviously be another audition vlog, another audition weekend in Memphis, Tennessee. And I'm pretty excited to explore. It looks like such a cool place. So this is gonna be a fun vlog. Um, for sure, but I will of course update you guys if I get any emails. Um, what I'm betting though is as soon as I start driving or as soon as I start taking this trip to Macon slash Memphis, I'm gonna get an email. Like as soon as I touch down in Memphis probably, I'm gonna get an email with some kind of job offer or something because that's how life works. But anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here and I shall see you guys for our trip to Memphis. Bye.